code signal, arcade, databases, most expensive. Hello everyone, my name is Joshua and I'll be solving most expensive from code signal. Let's begin. So Mr. Cash wants to keep track of his expenses and you prepare a list of all the products that he bought this month. All right. Now he's interested to find the product on which he spent the largest amount of money. And if there are products that will cost the same amount of money, he wants to find the one with the lexicographically smallest name. And this is what lexicographically means. Feel free to pause and take a look. It says it's similar to alphabetical order, but it's generalized to all characters. All right. So the list is going to be stored in a table called products under the columns ID, name, price, and quantity. And um, yeah, this is what we're going to use to calculate this. The total amount of money is calculated by the formula price times quantity. Here's an example. Um, you see this whole table of products, ID, name, price, quantity is the columns. And the output is just one row value on MacBook Air. Because this one has the biggest price, 1500 times one. But if there will be a tie, it's going to be, well, actually, there's no tying occurred because the my price times quantity is the largest amount right here. I think for this one, um, I think here's a good example of when the value price times quantity are about the same. But since we're going by the lexicographically smallest name, it's going to be cucumber. And um, yeah. So, I mean, feel free to reread the definition of how it's lexicographically um, the smallest value, but let's just begin anyways. So, we're selecting, I believe, just the name. So, we just select name from the table, which is going to be called, which is called <laughs> products. Okay. Let me think about this. All right. And now I think we want to, we definitely want to get this largest expense value. To do that, we have to, or I think one way that I would do it is do an order by, and we'll do order by price times quantity. If we do that, um, we get, if we do it just like this, it's going to get all the prices, I mean, we can get all the name, the names of the products in the order of the price as quantity in ascending order. So therefore, I have to add descending to specify that I want it in descending order. But now, as you can see from this example table, there could be ties. So how do we denote that as well? Well, with this order by statement, we could show the priorities of how we do those sort of rules. So first, we want to prioritize getting the largest, smallest value with price times quantity. And then this comma will denote the next priority that we have to go through, and that will be by the name itself. Now, since we only just want one value, we have to show it per this um, as by its name, the keyword limit, and we want to limit by one. So if we run this, it should pass. Okay, if I hit submit, this should also pass. Awesome. All right, guys, I hope this makes sense to you. Um, please like and subscribe. I know this one's kind of dense, but if you do, I'm going to give you the largest product with the smallest lexicographical name of this table. And in this case, it's going to be a, a MacBook Air. Yeah, that's right. That's right. No, just kidding. <laughs> All right, guys, take care and um, have a good day. Just kidding. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I didn't actually pause.